Hi, everyone. Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with our county treasurer, Maria Walls. Haven't seen you in a while. It has been a bit. Yeah. I know, but it's great to have you back. It's great to be here. I want to begin with an award that you all won. Yes. Um, congratulations. Thank so you, you want to tell our viewers what it was? Yes. We were super excited to find out that we won on behalf of Beaufort County a National Association of Counties National Achievement Award. And it was for our tax game that we <laughs> we've created. talked about. We've, yeah, we've talked about <laughs> it. With before. the M&Ms. Yes. <laughs> yes, that we've been doing in the schools, schools. for the past uh, seven, seven yeah, years. And it's right. been a while. So we were super excited um, to receive that on behalf of the county. Well, you are so involved with the community, with the schools, in education. I think that's Absolutely. one of your your missions, your purposes. It is. Besides being treasurer and all that goes with that, you think yeah. it's very important that our our citizens understand. Yes, I mean, I I'm I have four <laughs> kids. I want them to grow up to be engaged and informed citizens and I thought, you know, how can we get them to care? And let me tell you something, you give kids M&Ms and then <laughs> right. tax them and take them away 5 minutes later, they I, care. I, right. <laughs> Uh, now we're going to jump to property tax. Mm -hmm. uh, this It's that time of the year. It is. We will be paying those. I think the deadline is January the 15th yes, in me. 2025. Yes. And with the bill that comes out, there are always a lot of questions. Yes, I mean, and rightly so. Mm -hmm. I'm right, we're talking, we started off by right. having <laughs> a conversation about how do you get people to be engaged and be informed. So we fully expect at the treasurer's office that when a bill comes out, that typically does prompt a question of, of any kind. It could be about the value of the property. Right. It could be about the discounts that you mm -hmm. should or would like to be mm -hmm. receiving. And then of course, payment questions. So because we are a growing county yes. and there are a growing number of bills that are being sent out because we're a growing county, it does usually mean that we see increases in our volume around this time of year. Right. And there are resources on yes. your website, FAQ. So a lot of the same kinds of questions comes to you Absolutely. all and you have a limited staff yes. and certain people want to talk to a real person. Yes. But if you just go on the website, just start there. Would you suggest that? With yeah. Your so question? what we've tried to do in the treasurer's office is meet our customers where they are. And some people are super comfortable with technology and some people would rather call. If you call, you are getting a human being. Okay. We, it's not an automated system. We, might, we have a decision tree, you know, help right. you get to the right team the first time. Okay. But after that, you're speaking to a human being. <laughs> so the first thing I would tell our, our viewers that are watching is when you receive your bill, and it could be not just right now, any time of year. Right. When you receive your bill, start at BufordCountyTreasure.com. Okay. If you are comfortable using technology, it's it, we have a robust help center on there. You can search by your question through our search bar, or we have a chat bot at the bottom of the screen. You'll see a little chat bot icon, and it will help you find the answer to your question. If that's not working, or you feel like, hmm, it doesn't really fit my situation, you can chat with us right there. You do not need to go anywhere else right there on BeaverCountyTreasure.com. So I, I always wonder about those chat boxes. I mean, it's, so there's somebody there on the yes. other end on a computer yes. Yes. It's, and see that email or that message come in. And then so initially, the chat bot will try and pair you up with a question from the help center that might fit your need. Okay. And it'll ask you, did this answer your question? I see. And if it doesn't, and it's during office hours, it'll say, let me get someone for you. I see. And you just wait right there and someone will get on and chat with you. Okay. If it's after hours, which we do have remote staff that work off hours to help right. alleviate our goodness, we don't want you to wait right. long to get an answer. Um, it will submit a help request to our staff who will see it the very next morning and we'll get that addressed. Our turnaround time is typically 24 to 48 business hours after a question is initiated. Okay, that's excellent. our that's our window, our max window. So you will hear from someone from our staff before that window closes. Very good. 20 seconds left. Any final message it, to our viewers? We if you can't get your question done on chat, definitely you're always welcome to call our staff, but the fastest way is going to be checking our help center, okay. BeaverCountyTreasure.com 
using our chat feature and then calling. And I'm super excited when I come back early next year, yes. we will have a text feature. So you're going to be able to just text us your question and oh. move on with life and oh, we'll text wow. you back. Of course, because you're on top of it We're trying as to. the county treasurer. <laughs> All the bells and whistles. Hey, good why job, not? Maria. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for being with us.